Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to revisit the Nexus 7 2013. Now, as many of you know, Google did an incredible job with Asus on this tablet, really best in class, a great 7-inch device, arguably one of the best tablets ever made, now, not only because of its price point, but overall performance and hardware. I mean, NFC is in here, things that necessarily you wouldn't find in much higher and more expensive tablets. You've got an incredibly high-res screen, one of the highest pixel densities available, but lo and behold, the real reason to own a Nexus is obviously the over-the-air direct updates from Google. So finally, KitKat has arrived, as I try to bring it down there, and as you can, say, as you can see, it has already downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and touch to install, and you can see basically what's relevant here is that KitKat finally rolling out, and there's been news of the rollout now for weeks, however, as many times as I went to push the update, uh, at least through the OTA, no luck until finally today. So that's why I'm sharing with all of you. I'm not going to walk you through the restart and install, but uh, basically uh, some real enhancements, legitimate ones, and um, you know which they were noting there, and a whole host of improvements really to shape the entire Android experience now coming into. Uh, the next generation, hopefully in the second gen Nexus 10, among many other devices, obviously the Nexus 5 already, uh, rocking KitKat, and a lot of other devices, Samsung alike, hopefully we'll see a lot of manufacturers bring uh, the KitKat update that I'm about to install here and eventually share with all of you, at least the enhancements. Hopefully we'll see some of that trickle down and make its way into all of those different custom skins and overlays that all the manufacturers, lo uh, manufacturers love to employ on tablets that aren't, of course, uh, like the Nexus. But overall, this is still one of the most competent and best values in the marketplace. Uh, incredible balance of functionality and hardware, lightweight, great battery life, solid cameras for the price point. 16 and 32 gig uh, storage capacities, obviously, are the applicable options. No storage expansion here, although you can use the micro USB port uh, for storage expansion in the form of an on-the-go cable hooked up to something like a jump drive or a portable hard drive. A, uh, you do have stereo speakers here, unlike other ASUS products, uh, Google making sure that ASUS gave two speakers, um, and the sound is decent. I've already given um, plenty of coverage to this device back at launch. Still one of my favorites, and for good reason. I mean, it's incredibly difficult to beat what the Nexus 7 brings to the table. And that's part of the reason that I'll be aggressively comparing this tablet to a lot of its new counterparts that have come out recently, not that they're direct comparisons in terms of the hardware, or of course, the incomparable uh, updates that you get from Google, which can't be matched outside of the Nexus experience, but things like the Yoga Tablet 8 that I'm currently reviewing, as well as more interestingly enough, uh, the Tegra Note, 7, which really is just, in my opinion, a Nexus device without Google's blessing, and of course NVIDIA's creativity coming to life because they're not restricted by Google's requirements, that's going to be a very interesting, um, in my opinion, almost apples to apples comparison when it comes to budget 7-inch Android tablets. But not going to bore you guys with the balance of this update, just wanted to let you know KitKat finally landing, so I'll be able to update all of you on impressions and what it has in store for us in terms of an overall enhancement to our Android experience. Uh, but key one to point out is that the goal here really is unifying that Android experience even more and getting rid of that fragmentation, making an update that really can be uh, spread across the ecosystem, not necessarily to devices that have lower end specifications, but Google has lowered the requirements uh, for the updates, a clear sign that they realize that it's more important to get uh, one stable uh, latest version of software across the devices to create an experience that every Android user comes to expect rather than having fragmented, varied experiences. How well that'll end up being executed, I'm not sure, but it is the beginning of yet another chapter in a bright future. Uh, but as you can see, the update process still going on. I expect it's about a 20-minute update since it was a hefty download. But 
I will update you. Do not fear. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.